If you want to make your own bobbin lace pillow, you can start with some of this foam that you can find in the craft stores. It's not ideal, it's not going to last. So um, you're going to have to cover it with some firm fabric to make it suitable to, to stick pins in because it's not strong enough to even support a pin. And, and when you're doing your lace, you're gonna be pulling on these pins and it's going to um, damage the foam. But just to see if you like bobbin lace, this is a good place to start and you want it uh, probably an inch and a half to two inches thick. This one is about an inch. Um, and I did make one out of this and it is working okay, but it's not going to last. So I wouldn't spend a, a lot of time using this foam to make a pillow, but just to try out bobbin lace to see if you like it, this is a good place to start. And uh, you, can, you can hear the difference. So if you're in the craft store, I wouldn't damage it in the store, but you can just tap on it and you can tell this is the brittle kind. This is a Lacy's bobbin lace pillow, L-A-C-I-S. I'm not sure if it's Lacy's or Lacy's, but um, it's an ether foam. And you can see it's quiet when I push on it. It doesn't crackle or anything like that. It's a little flexible, but it's very firm. And uh, the only thing about this one, it is a thin pillow, but uh, they sell this one as a beginner kit and it comes with the, um, the pillow and it comes with a little cardboard stand so that you can lean the pillow and it comes with some bobbins. So this one's a really good place to start. If you don't like the thickness of it, you could add some foam like this to the back of it to make it thicker. And um, you can, um, you can do your bobbin lace this way or this way. The stand will hold it in this position like this. So in order to put my pattern down on this thin piece of foam, I had to use these little applique pins because the uh, foam is not very thick. So I didn't want my pins going all the way through. But again, you can stack it on cardboard or something else to make it thicker. So this is a really good uh, pillow. This one's made out of the same stuff as the Lacey's pillow. This one, I believe, came from Snow Goose Lace. Uh, I'm not sure what the size is. It's, it's either 18 or 20, I can't remember. But um, they send it with this cover, and it's a really nice cover and um, protects the foam, helps it to last longer, and um, it's thick enough to put your pattern down, and I really like this pillow. This is one that I made out of that craft, uh, that brittle foam, and I've got it well covered with fabric, and I've made a pattern on here, and it worked well. Um, the advantage to having little movable blocks like this is if you're making yardage of lace, as your pattern, as your lace grows down here and you don't have much room left here, you can shove your pattern, uh, you can shove the blocks or remove or unpin the pattern from the top block and move your pattern without um, disturbing your lace and then add, just keep shuffling the blocks as you go as your lace grows. And so a block pillow is good for that. I plan on trying to make a, uh, a round pillow or a round piece to fit in here using a pool noodle. But I do like everything flat like that. So um, the block pillow is good for that. The uh, round ones will stick up a little bit so your bobbins aren't going to um, lay flat against the thread and everything. So since I'm just starting out, I'm not real comfortable with my bobbins hanging down from a raised uh, portion. But I hope this gives you an idea of how to get started with a, um, a pillow. The main thing is it has to be really firm and um, you'll need to cover it with something. You can buy this foam online and I believe it's called Etha Foam, E-T-H-F-O-A-M. And I found it on several different sites in different thicknesses and different sizes, different colors. You can get it in black or white, I believe is the, the two colors. They sell this on boating supply sites as a um, insulation for uh, tackle boxes or storage on boats. And um, there's probably other places that you can get it also, but 
if you have a design in mind that you want to make a custom pillow, there is a supply source for this foam online.